Hey, what's up guys? It's Luke Beller and today we're going to be breaking down another potential draft prospect for the Packers. It came out a few days ago that the Packers are going to meet with slash have met, I don't know if they've actually met with him yet, with Notre Dame tight end Tommy Tremble. Um, so as you can see here, he's going to be a big time weapon at the next level. I love his game. He's met with slash will meet virtually with all these teams in the Packers are one of those teams but if you guys are new to the channel i'll put up packers content six days a week so you want to see you know news analysis all kind of stuff make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below so taking a look at this tight end from notre dame tommy tremble pff has him ranked as the fourth best tight end we have kyle pitts up here at number one for pff but they have tommy tremble as the fourth best tight end ranked 101st overall so taking a little bit more um, of an in-depth look at Tommy Tremble and sort of what he could potentially bring to this Packers offense or maybe why the Packers may want to bring in a guy like Tony, Tony or Tommy Tremble, not Tony, Tommy Tremble. Uh, so taking a look at his stats in 2019 and 2020, 2019, 16 receptions, 183 yards and four touchdowns. 2020, 19 receptions and uh, 218 yards and zero touchdowns. So like first off, taking a look at just those stats, like it's not, they're not very um, I guess inspiring stats when it comes to receiving the ball. Um, he didn't really produce that much when it came to you know catching the ball as a tight end. The thing is, lots of people sort of see this guy as like a fullback, H back guy who can sort of be utilized and moved around, and he's a very good run blocking tight end. Taking a look here from PFF, it says in the right scheme, Tremble could very easily take the torch from Kyle Juszczyk as the league's best fullback. So basically, even though Tommy Trimble may be labeled as a tight end, PFF at least seems to think he can sort of be utilized as a fullback as well. So maybe the Packers sort of see him as that potential H-back, fullback kind of guy. Um, looking back at 2020, the Packers drafted a guy who seems very similar to him, Josiah DeGuara. Unfortunately for DeGuara, we didn't really get to see too much from him in the 2020 season because he went down with an injury. I think he went to the IR in like week five, only played in like 30 or 40 snaps in that 2020 season. Um, so maybe the Packers were to see him as a similar type guy as Josiah DeGuara. And hopefully DeGuara will be coming back healthy coming into the 2021 season. But maybe they're like just in case, either if he continues to deal with injuries, maybe they want another guy who's sort of similar to him. Because if you take a look at his height and weight, DeGuara, 6'3", 242. Taking a look at uh, Trimble, he's 6'4", 242. So they're very similarly, similarly built. And taking a little bit more of a look from PFF, what they have to say about him. Um, biggest strength blocking on the move, biggest weakness production. So pros, unmatched want to as a run blocker, five big time blocks in 2020. Legit speed and explosiveness flies off the line. Elite locating in space in the run game like a predator shaking its prey. Cons, tremendous blocker, but still could struggle, struggle with NFL inline at his size. Afterthought in passing game, 31 fewer targets than Notre Dame's freshman tight end. So as you know, we were looking at his stats. They don't look super impressive, but he seems to be more of like a run blocking guy, a guy who can be utilized in lots of different ways. And maybe that's okay for the Packers to bring in a guy like this who maybe isn't going to be, you know, that receiving tight end, like probably Robert Tunyon or Tunyon will be um, coming into 2021, which I assume the Packers will be bringing Tunyon back. So maybe this guy will, you know, sort of fill that fullback role, sort of move all around for the Packers. So not as reliable of hands as you like at the position, five drops on 40 career catchable, not particularly agile or shifty, may not ever be a complete route runner. And then take a look down here at this last paragraph, sort of their, their final stance on this guy, standing a meager six foot four and 242 pounds, there was not a better run blocking tight end in all of football last year. He blocks like his life depends on it, snap after snap. Notre Dame used him all over the formation and he continuously got the job done. Pair that with legit speed, and you've got the makings of an interesting prospect. Because of that athletic combination, any team that uses a fullback in its offense should have him right at the top of their fullback ranking. So I'm guessing that's the reason that Packers are sort of taking a look at this guy, um, because it's obviously not about his you know production solely when it comes to receiving the football. I'm guessing the Packers are seeing his run blocking ability and basically what he can do when it comes to that. From the Draft Network, they have lots of good breakdowns of these players if you guys ever want to see you know, more breakdowns on other players. They pretty much do every single player. So it says here, Tommy Trimble projects as an F tight end in the NFL, a flex weapon that will be best served in an offense that doesn't charge him with playing with his hands in the dirt. Trimble is a plus athlete who offers the long speed and agility to be dynamic as a pass catcher, but his production to this point has yet to make the leap that you want to see to feel confident that he's going to develop into an upper level tight end at some point. Trimble has spent his career at Notre Dame, caught behind the likes of Cole Komet and 2020 freshman star Michael Mayer. He's been the tight end too, who is charged with moving around the set or blocking on the perimeter to set up runs and screens to the outside. Trimble's potential is significant and his effort as a role player has been admirable, so you'll feel fairly good that Trimble has the right makeup to stick as a developmental player while working himself into a more prominent role as he continues to mature. So maybe this is a guy the Packers draft 
third, fourth round if they decide to come in and draft a tight end, a guy who could potentially take time to develop and grow as a blocker, maybe as a receiver as well. But that is all I wanted to break down for Tommy Tremble. If you guys enjoyed this video, it'd be awesome if you guys would like the video down below. And if you've yet to subscribe, you want to see Packers content, feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. But that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys on the next one.